Hey everyone, this is Manly Bastard, and welcome back to Worse Than Death. Previously, we went to a school reunion, which sucked. <gasps> there are heavy footprints and dirt here. They look fresh. The gate is locked with a heavy chain. The lock is attached to some kind of old-fashioned metal cylinder. There's a hang tag here as well with a note on it. It just sucks living in an adventure game world. Can you imagine it? It's like... Imagine... Let's think of like how Professor Layton lives his life. How he just goes around and there's just puzzles everywhere. Well, adventure game world is like that. You go down, you go get yourself an ice cream. Before you even get into the damn convenience store, there's a damn puzzle. So to get into the convenience store, you gotta go walk down the street to the, um... The, uh, the arcade or something. And you gotta go play the, the games. You can't just be led in, no. It's an adventure game world. With high degrees of intelligence here. There's a mausoleum up ahead. That should be where Flynn said he was. Why is it like giant pits? It's a trip hazard. Flynn! Flynn, are you here? Damn it, I don't hear anything in here except the wind. God, even if I find Flynn, what am I going to say? If I tell him about Grace's affair, it'll break his heart. And to be honest, how can he move on if it's all he's thinking about? How can we move on? But he's my best friend. Don't I owe him the truth? This niche contains a newer looking urn. It can't be more than a couple of years old. A little plaque says our time together was a constant spiral. Hmm. This is a section that looked like it may maintain very well. Description engraved. Our love began when we met in the mountains. Mountains? Spiral? Not maintain? <laughs> Let's see, brand new. With some flowers and a rain card. Our love is infinite. Hmm. Together for three beautiful decades. That's both sweet and at the same time. Red urn looking stately. This is where Flynn was, alright. He said they were camping supplies. This must have been the radio that he used to call me. It's just emitting static now. That's weird. There's a library book here, too. It's some cheap publication on local legends. Okay, so let me go out and look at the symbols again and kind of cross-reference this based on what I've got here. <laughs> so our love was a constant spiral. Your love was a mountain. Got it. That worked. The lock in the cylinder has been released. Hello. The footprints here. They look like men's boots, but I see two different sizes here. Holly! Oh god, never an actual human character. Where are you? Oh my god, Flynn, finally! What the hell happened? I heard somebody coming. So I had to shut off the radio and hide. Hide from what? Not what? Who? There was a man. I couldn't see him. But then I heard his, this voice calling from outside. So I followed in out here to this grave. The voice. It sounded like Grace. What? Flynn, that's crazy. Grace is dead. I know that. But why else would I have been called out here? To see where she was buried. No, no, listen, okay? I was worried sick about you, alright? Holly. 
When your radio cut off, I, I thought you might be dead. So I rushed over here. God, Flynn. The shot I had to go through just to make it here. Holly, what are you? And now here you are again. Grace, Grace, Grace. Listen to yourself. Flynn, please. Grace is gone. You can't keep berating yourself over this. Or beating yourself, around. Right? You need to move on. You said to yourself, this is her grave. This is where she was buried. I know, but... Did you hear that? No goddamn way. Grace, Holly, it's Grace. She's still in there. Or someone else is. Or a zombie ghost. Come on, Flynn, don't do this. Hurry! We get this casket open, we have to get her out. Okay, the light just open. Let me get this lid off quick. Flynn, we need to stop this now. This isn't going to make things right. Just hurry, damn it! Whoa! What? There's nothing here. Lynn, I told you. Hold on, though. There's still some things inside the casket. But then where's the body? It's part of the dress that Grace was buried in. I was the one who chose it for a burial. Her father said it was up to me. It's one of our old photos. But it's decayed so much you can't even make Grace out anymore. It doesn't just look decayed, it looks like something deliberately scratched off her side of the photo. Virgil. That's the heart pen I gave Grace when we started dating. She... She really had a thing for hearts, didn't she? Huh? What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. I just mean that I remember having that pendant, too. Oh god, Holly. What's going on here? I can't take this anymore. The accident was almost two years ago, but Grace... She's all I can think about. I... I know. I can't even sleep anymore. When I close my eyes, it's like she's right there. Come on, you need to listen to me. It's going to be okay. You and me, we're going to get through this, all right? Look, Flynn, about what I want to say to you back at Sam's bar, will I? Holly, look out! Did we get shoved in the coffin? These are fairly short chapters, aren't they? Chapter 5, Slow Recovery. Oh god, my head is in agony. Wait a minute, I'm in a hospital. How did I get here? Flynn, Flynn, are you here? Okay, I need to slow down. Take a breath. I can't do anything like this. I need to find some painkillers. I won't be able to think straight. The sign said these doors lead to the west wing of the hospital. Great. The plant looks like it died a long time ago. Like my heart. I can see a cabinet inside the nurse's station. There must be some painkillers in there. I need to find a way to get inside before I pass out from the pain. Door is locked. The door to the nurse's station is locked. There's a keycard reader here, though. Hello? Is anybody there? It looks like I'm going to have to look after myself. I don't like this. There's a huge hole in the wall. I'll have to come back to this later. My head is pounding. Office Director Martin Hoffman. Just so many things to examine in this game. Too much. Oh, God! This is a chart. I can't help you right now. Spooky. 
can see medication. The desk door seems to be locked, but I can't worry about that now. Really? This room was useless. What is that awful smell? Key card? Looks like one of the staff left a magnetic card lying around. Sweet. Was this because he went messy here? It smells like blood. It's gonna make me sick. I can't look at this right now. So it's implying we gotta get back. And come back here later. Yep, a slow walk. Really gonna make me manually slide it? So immersive. God, finally. Please let there be something here I can use. Oh, God. Pills here. Grabbing pills. Oh, thank God. There's a ball of acetaminophen here. I don't know if I said that right. I just need to get it open. What the hell? It was a screw cap one. Usually these are like the type you push down and then finally. I'm starting to be able to think straight again. Oh god, what am I gonna do? I finally caught the flint and now I'm all the way out here. You could be at the cemetery, it could be dead by now for all I know. You must look around. There's got to be a reason I ended up here. There's an electrical panel here. Looks like the various breakers can be turned on and off. I'll come back to that. Maybe it's some kind of note, just here to the wall. D is worth 12, C is worth 20. B is worth 6, A is worth 8, E is worth D plus B, twice as A. Okay, some math here. Now that, that also, let's check this. Fred, yo, sticky note is a fixed stick pre monitor here. It says left has to be 18, right has to be 27. I don't know why that's the way it is. Let's see. Folders documents have been ripped out and thrown on the floor like someone was searching for something. There's incident reports about Grace's father. Apparently it's become quite violent on several occasions and had to be restrained. So a few of them aren't labeled, and those are the mystery box. Alright, so D is worth 12. And based on the Everclue, which one is on which side? So to 18 rise to be 27. So left has to be 18. So right now we have D, C, and A. D is 12. C is 20. And okay, the other one is B, so it's 8. So we need to get that number down to 18. So, which is essentially just 12 plus 6. So we have D and B on. Okay. 
The silver one is H and F. Twenty-seven. Shazam. That's the trick. Lights are starting to come back on. It's starting to feel chilly in here. Especially towards the west wing where we have to go. Sun says he's directly to the hospital east wing. Swing assist. Administration. Oh shit, not again. Can I force it a bit? We got company in here. Ghost! Curtain was closed before, I'm sure of it. There's some blood stains here on the bed. Almost like something hard had rubbed against the sheets. There's a patient report here. It says that the patient here had been moved from another room. Due to violent altercation of patient next ward, Mr. Sartain was transferred to semi private ward. New injuries for stain include femur, fracture, mild concussion. Day nurse should perform cognitive tests twice daily. What the hell? According to the other patients here, Mr. Sartain was admitted for what he claimed was food poisoning. The nurse's note says otherwise, though. His note says that drugs were found in his system, though Mr. Sartain denied using any. There's a heavy duty model of a human skull here. There's a damp, chilly breeze coming through this part of this window. The glass here looks like it's been smashed if someone tried to break in. Or out. I wonder if the hiding spots would have been used for... Whoa, not yet. The higher difficulty? Go in! I still don't understand what these things are. They're like weird meat Venus fly traps. That's the way I can describe them. What what happened here? It's so hard to see in the dark, but it looks pretty bright to me. I can feel this odd choking sense of anger. Patient report took away here. It's for Grace's father. The report is page after page of scrambled notes by different nurses and doctors. Violent outbursts, refusal to take medication, attempts to sign himself out. Unprovoked displays of extreme aggression have forced us to move into a private ward for the safety of the staff and other patients. There's another patient here that has a photocopy of a police report. It says that Grace's father attacked a visitor, but the visitor didn't press charges. Wait, the name of this on this report. It was Jack. Okay, here we go again. A combination... Well, a weird combination lock, anyway. I get the feeling that somebody really doesn't want anyone to see what's inside here. There's four little dials here fashioned to some kind of homemade locking mechanism. It looks like they have letters on them. Oh look, it's the story, see? So they answer love. Dead man on the floor. A pin on his coat says his name was Martin Hoffman, and that he was the hospital director. He's only been dead for a few hours, I guess. There's blood all around him on the floor. It's still wet. Huh. Seems to have been clutching something when he died. It's the next ray sheet of someone's chest. It's covered in blood. What the? The label says it was for Grace's father. I'm pretty sure doctors use X chest X rays as a way to catch strokes before they happen. Maybe this was taken before. But why would this still be here? Oh god, I can see the director's torso now. His his heart is missing. This x-ray is covered in all sorts of scratches. Maybe with the correct light I could look more closely. Let's 
try something. Give me a V. Hope. Uh, there might be a way to solve this correctly. I'm just trying to see if I can brute. I just uh, fast to pee. I'm trying to see if I can brute force it with a guess. No, it's not hope. Hope is dead. Team, I think it was also usable there. Gotta go back. Go! I'm over here! Okay. Let's use our new skull. There's a large hole in the wall. It's like something thrown up against it. The damage is so severe, though. Who or what could have done this? See that hiding spot? It's a life-size human skeleton model. The head is missing, though. The head fits squarely on the model's shoulders. I think I heard a click somewhere within the office. The desk door popped open. It's extremely messy inside. Wait a minute, there's an x-ray sheet here. Covered by a stack of forms and reports. The label says it's for Flynn. There's an x-ray of his leg. The man looks a lot worse than I ever imagined. No wonder he lives like that. Poor Flynn. The accident really changed him forever. In more ways than one. Huh. There's x-ray marks all over it. But I can't tell if they mean anything. Perhaps if I had the right kind of light. Got you back. Now, was there anything important here? One note says, watch out for Mr. Oh, my chemical name, it's moved off. No, continuous, he's been extra angry lately. Grace's father, then. Useless and spooky. The table's filthy dark mess. Everything smells like blood and copper. Oh my god, a no mess. There's a human heart. It looks like it was violently ripped out. The ventricles are torn and there's blood everywhere. Useful. Is the answer the heart? Is it really? <laughs> Yeah, see those hiding spots? I'm wondering if that's for Nightmare Difficulty, which you have to unlock, by the way. Grimy looking gurney is parked against the wall. The thick sheet on top is stained and smells repugnant. A dark, vicious fluid is slowly dripping from under the sheet onto the floor. one of the hospital's examination rooms. The patient chart just shows some basic medical information. It was probably meant for some explaining things to kids. There are crude marks around the finger's head and heart as if someone was using some kind of reference. That filthy mirror shows only my warped reflection. It looks terrible. Like my soul. Hmm. The examination might look strangely free of dust and dirt. Like someone had used it recently. It's fairly modern way scale. It's been heavily scratched up, but it still works. If you just put something on it, it tells you it's white. Ah, disgusting. The scale says the heart weighs 465 ounces. I'll just leave this here. I don't want to ever touch that thing again. 465. 
Hmm. There was never a thing to it. The supply cabin has been broken into and ransacked. There are open packages and discard wrappers everywhere. Oh, you know why they have hiding spots in these places? I bet if it actually chases you, because we haven't actually been chased yet. Like if it spots you, I bet it chases you into rooms. It looks like they've been abandoned. Covered in mold and dirt now. This is a crash cart, but it looks like all of its contents have been removed. It's a poster describing various conditions and susceptibility to them of age. It sure makes getting older seem unnecessarily terrifying. The wash station here looks like it's been used recently. The steel basin is stained with streaks of red. There's a scarred latex gloves on the counter and sold disposable tissues. Everything's a dark red color. It smells disgusting. The lock has been broken off the supply cabinet, and several of the contents have been taken or used. Was someone here in the hospital using all this stuff? Ah, oh, gross. There's a huge damn mess here on the x ray table. The vinyl covering of the bed has been slashed, and the bed has been soaked with blood and little bits of gristle. Some old looking tools have been left here. A scalpel, some forceps, they're all rusted and stained. So I don't have enough of these, I can tell you that for sure. Ah, 0465. That did it. The safe is open. The head being circled only meant because he had to use a skull. Looks like there were a couple of things stashed away in here. It's known here. It's extremely hard to read as if the person writing it couldn't quite manage. All I can make out is Grace, I love you. What? What the hell is this? Deserved it. Hey, there's people with X-ray in here. This was just a really broken arm. God, that looks painful. Labeled in the corner says it's for Mr. Sartain. There's some kind of scratches all over it. If I could see bear of the right kind of light. Grace. Do I have enough now, or do I need to get that one lock combination? Deserved it. C O E L P. Seem to work. I heard something unlocked beside here. Oh my god, this is insane. Near the camera stuff full of notes, photos, and old newspaper clippings, just at just like at Grace's house. It's an instant photo of Jack. It looks like a cannon shot. He's staying near a tombstone in the cemetery. It looks like Grace's grave. What was Jack doing visiting Grace? There's a note on the photo, a liar. L.A. It's an instant photo of a man I don't recognize. He's walking on the entrance of the town's library. The photo looks like it was taken from a hidden spot somewhere. The man's been violently circled in pen, and a word has been written below, Defiler. There's a scrap of paper stuck to the wall. The writing on it is so chaotic and angry it's barely legible. It says Saturday, 10 p.m. Sawmill. Time to do it. Wait, that was tonight! It's an instant photo of Vanessa. 
It was probably taken without her knowing it. Her whole head has been violently scribbled on, but it's definitely her. Writing on the photo says, Addict. It's known in here, written on the back of a service manual for a generator. The manual has a little stamp label on the front that says, Property of Sandy Lake Hydroelectric Station. The note on the back looks like it was written in a hurry. It says you want these photos, so I delivered. I have more, but you'll never see them if you don't pay as promised. I, I can't believe this. Everything that's happened tonight, all those bodies, was Grace's father behind all of it. That can't be right. But what about those, those things? Like the one out in the hall right now? How does this explain them? I just can't make sense of it. But that one note says something about what's happening at the sawmill at 10 o'clock. I don't know if Flynn is still at the cemetery and the sawmill is a whole lot closer. Maybe let's head back to the main foyer and find a way to get out of here. Wait, wait a minute. Where did that thing go? It's gonna block the ent exit. Just you wait. You have to run. What the? I think the front door just unlocked itself. Oh no, I guess not. The cabinet I found in Grace's father's room. It mentioned that something was supposed to happen to Sawmill tonight. I don't know where else to go. It might be my only chance to find some answers. Chapter 6 A Terrible Tragedy I finally made it. It's already after 3 in the morning, but the notes that something was set to go down earlier tonight. I have to find out what was supposed to happen here. It might be the only way I can find Flynn again. So I can hide. It's a work schedule from the mill. Among the names here, I recognize Jax, as well as Grace's father. It's hard to read, but it looks like the manager of most of these shifts was named Forrester. Uh, okay, Forrester works at the mill. Forrester Tabber, I think. It does look like Jack was getting many shifts. He's hardly on the schedule at all. Like, you can hide. But I don't see any enemies yet. The table is covered in leftover donuts and dirty coffee mugs. It looks like there was a struggle here. So the mugs were broken and there's stale coffee dripping on the floor. It's Jack Work Locker. It's stuffed full of old work boots and clothes. There's some empty pill balls at the bottom in a plastic bag. This must be the main floor. It feels a little chilly in here. Oh boy. There are bloody spires on the wall, like something was slammed up against it. Let's go check out the different doors first. Locked. Okay, so the answer's that. More scratch marks. Extremely cold. Something scratched on, three red robins, the first waits for all the other birds. The second attacks first, and the third moves only after his opponent. It's either a puzzle, or it's new enemies who act this way. So first waits, second attacks, third moves only after the opponent. Neely's tech wood here is covered in scratches. There is a lot of little hiding spots. Three blue jays. The first retaliates immediately. The second makes no move. The third follows the first orders. I'm not going to remember these on the fly. There's a keyhole there. Whoa, boy. Looks like some kind of beat-up gold control panel. Maybe something here will let me access more of the mill. But how am I supposed to know what to do? No, this is the Blue Jays and the Red Bird.
Looks like this pal contains some kind of security shutoff equipment. I can probably access it, but the front door has been shut tight with two locks. Weird. The lumber that's stuck here on the cover looks half frozen. It's covered in ice crystals. There's something sticking in the wood, like sap. The whole thing smells stale, or blood. It's a torn piece of work uniform. It must have been stuck under some of the wood in the conveyor. There's a name tag on it says, Forrester Tammer. I vaguely remember the red one. This one only moves where the opponent moves. This one waits. It's like this. And I think it's supposed to go interchangeably with the blue. Like blue and red are enemies. So let's go back real quick. And we'll kind of look over this in conjunction with the blue one. The first waits for all the other birds. So red top left goes last. The second attacks first, meaning the second red one goes first. And the third moves only after his opponent. So I'm assuming that one means the third one moves after the third blue one moves. And this one was... The first retaliates immediately, the second makes no move, and the third follows the first orders. So, duh, blank, duh, then ba ba ba. So, this one, this one, this one, that one, there. It sounded like that did something. No, not this. Did it open some doors out here and then spawn a monster? Cause that's all fun. Oh no, that thing's here now. Uh. See, manly knows this game played tropes. Crap, it's getting close. Nope, 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 nope. Dive. Dive! A little too cocky on my part. Microwave has definitely seen better days, but I think it still works. I don't know if I should, should, could, could rather cook anything reliably, but should be able to heat something up at least. Or make it explode. Ah, the kitchen counter is a complete mess. A dirty napkin with some marks on it has been stuck to the wall. Secret. It's kind of like a symbol. One well, of the lockers is open. Blonde to Chris's father. His name is on the door. Hmm. Inside there's a photo of several of the mill workers, including Jack. He's been circled in the black marker. There's a note scribbled on the back. He's the one you want. Hey. There's also an old key in here. What do you do? You like... Some, some ancient forest god? There's a number of official-looking reports and notices on the table. What was similar about Jack? They mentioned him causing trouble at work, showing up late off and being in a disorderly state. They're all signed on by floor manager, Forrester Tamer. It seemed like Jack really was the screw-up Flint said he was. The old TV looks pretty busted up, but I think the child buds still work. Square, 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 square. I feel like this game should have, like, had, like, a little note-writing feature. Get in there, get in there! Where are 
I'm not over here. Holy crap, the room feels so cold, like the inside of a walk-in freezer. Even in the cold, like it's supposed to be off like old meat. Whole wall looks like it's been frozen solid. There's ice crystals everywhere. They're starting to melt now, but it's almost as if the room was flash frozen like a bag of vegetables. Something feels different than before. Those things always feel cold, but this was much more intense. I can't help but feel a sense of anger in here. It's unsettling. It's a large industrial saw for cutting lumber. It's completely covered in blood. Some of the blood is still dripping, but it's thick like syrup. I think it's because of how cold it is in here. What is this? One of the sawmill workers was pushing the bleed into an industrial saw. There are half-frozen pieces everywhere, but I can't tell who this is. The man's uniform has a large spot torn out of it. Wait a minute. His hand looks like it's still holding on to something. It's frozen shut, though. Cut it off! Uh, this is disgusting, but if I could somehow fall out of his hand, maybe I can see what it is. To the microwave. It's probably the other key. So we use both keys. So I think higher difficulties must have more monsters. Or like I said, or it chases you into rooms. That's all I can think of. That noise makes you think of Deathmark, because I think it's the same sound when you activate a clue or a, or a puzzle in Deathmark, I swear. I almost have to check this. If you don't know what Deathmark is, check out my playthrough of it. It's a good horror game. Okay, time to fall this thing out. I guess I just turn the dial and press the start button. But what temperature should I set this to? I don't want this thing to explode on me. It was on... Here. Bottom left. Yeah. You could have just theoretically brute force that puzzle, I guess, but whatever. Can we get to the <gasps> next one fast enough? Oh, cross! This shoe. I think it's one of Vanessa's pumps. I remember her wearing these at the reunion. What is it doing out here? Ugh. Hiding spots. Ooh, there's gonna be a ghost in here. Vanessa. Oh, I'm surprised. It's weird the door has a lock on, but it's been busted open. Oh, it smells awful in here. No, she's dead. Hey, it's the other piece of torn up letter I found in Grace's father's locker. It's from the local newspaper. It's typed out of official letterhead and very brief. Thank you for the newest letter and for the photo. As we've stated before, however, we cannot run an investigation based solely on hearsay. The letter is signed by Vivian. Of course, she runs the paper now. The photo this mentions must be that circled image of Jack I found in the break room. Whoa, there's a pretty serious looking homemade lab set up here. It looks like someone was manufacturing drugs. Now, what can I... She's gone, now I'm gone. There are wrappers, old mess and balls, and old lab supplies. Some of which look like they came from the high school. Yeah, I remember those stuff stolen from the high school. Hold on, there's some kind of letter here. River Road looked like they can barely hold a pen. 
You tell me to stop, but how can I? What am I supposed to do? She's gone. Now I'm gone. It's not my fault I loved her. I didn't ask to. This whole damn town died the day that she died. Weird. What? It's Vanessa's purse. I see another key there. What's it doing way out here? The pill bottles in here, but the labels don't make any sense. I think they were reused. Instead, the balls are some kind of crystalline rocks. Wait, there's some kind of homemade drugs. There's a note scrawled on the back of a faint piece of newsprint. It's written in ballpoint pen. Smart up. I can't keep covering for you. Is it what I came for? We'll have two of these orange keys now. There's a struggle of some kind. Is this a case where the default difficulty is like too easy and then the hard difficulties maybe will be too hard? <laughs> it's right in front of me, isn't it? No, okay. It was close by though. Okay, I've got the panel open. I probably need to press these buttons to secrets to whatever it, it is this does, which was... That worked. I heard something unlocked far off from somewhere. See, I actually remembered it. Good for me. It's rare for me to remember things. Valley the Scar, it's all info. Except for info that has to do with anime. And food. And money. And Spongebob references. Huh. I wonder what that opened. We didn't open that, that's for sure. There was one more door at the very start. Could be that. And they want me to go for one more run around. Nope. Go in. Go, 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 go. Go, go in the next room. Yeah, they must chase you in the rooms. Because if there was one in here patrolling around and you had to go for the puzzles, that, that would be very annoying. Because I've never technically been detected by him, so that's all, like I said, the only thing I can think of. Ooh, this looks fun. One of the old industrial window panes has been left open here. There's a chilly draft coming in from the outside. Someone would have cl could have climbed in. You need these stacks of woods to get down. They were bleeding. Ooh. Oh, oh! I see. What's? Their deep bloody scratch marks have been in the wood. They look like they could have come from fingernails. They are dragged here. Oh! Oh my God! No! It's it's Vanessa. She's been strangled from the scaffolding by her neck. Her face is swollen from being strangled in her eyes. Oh God! Her eyes just keep staring out. She's still wearing when she was at the reunion. But one of her shoes is missing. Oh god, Vanessa, why did you have to come here tonight? And what did you do to deserve this? I can't take the sight of her or the smell. Which is why I'm gonna monologue as I slowly walk away. I have to get out of here. No, you don't. Now we can get out of here. Holly! Flynn, holy shite, thank god you're okay. Are you hurt? I'm fine, really. Just a bit more banged up than usual. I can still walk. What's wrong? You look upset. Flynn, it's... it's Vanessa. Don't go in there. 
What do you mean? What's going on in that room? No, don't go in there. Why not? Let's just get out of here, okay? Okay, fine. You can fill me in on the way. On the way to where? Come on. We have to get to the library. So it was like the library? I think it was another spot. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if we go back to the high school. Piecing things together. 4.15 a.m. So it's gotta be like one more location. Cause it, this game's gonna end before we hit true morning. That's my guess. God, Flynn. I don't know how much more of this I can take. The flooding is only getting worse out there. I know. But lucky the door was unlocked. Somebody must have forgot to check it when they left. Well, it seems quiet enough in here. Hey, are you gonna be okay with that leg of yours? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, if you're sure. Even I'm getting tired. Hey, what's this? It's just an old desk. Yeah, but I think there's something here. It's too dark to see, though. Why don't you turn on the light? There's a note here on the desk. It's written in a neat, friendly style of handwriting. It was Harcourt. Look around, you'll see what I mean. What do you suppose it means? I have no idea. But we live in an adventure game world, so we gotta go solve it with a puzzle. 